What's up, Survival? This is Chief here, and we're almost done with the Cinema 4D World Importing Tutorials. Now we're going to create the sky and the environment, and finally we're going to do some rendering in the next video. So first, what you should already have is a Minecraft world imported from Mineways with custom texture packs including custom fences and custom walls. If you haven't seen those already, click on these links on the side right now. Now, first thing you want to do is head up, head up to the top bar right here and select Create Physical Sky. We're not going to really use the physical sky as much as we're going to use its atmosphere. So uncheck the sky and sun and tick on the atmosphere. That's it for that. Now click on the same thing and hit sky instead. You should get a sky in your scene that looks relatively blue. Load up an image on Google and put it in the materials tab and drag it into the sky. Now your sky actually has a texture. Next what you want to do before you do any rendering to see how it looks is to import a sun. If you try to render it right now it's going to be really dark and really hard to see. So what you want to do is head up to uh, infinite light. Once you have the lighting, position it in a spot where the sun would be. In my case, I want it shining down on the door. Remember that organization is key. Rename your light to the sun. Head over to general settings and tick on shadow to ray traced hard. And change the color to a yellowish orangey tone. Now click on lens, set, set the glow to sun 1 and the reflexes to sun 2, a uh, star 2. These can be customized to your settings, but this is what I prefer. Go into shadow and make that black somewhat grayer. Now your sun is set up. You also need one more thing to replace uh, global illumination. That's an ambient light. So hit light object and create a light. Rename that to ambience. Click on general and tick on ambient illumination. Lift that up high into the sky. Click on color. Choose screen color and click on the sky somewhere. Press OK and you're done. Now the sun flare will only render after everything else has been done rendering. One more thing you may want to do is turn shadows on for the ambience light and set it to a soft shadow map. Click on shadows and change the density way down to 70. In this case it looks a lot better but sometimes you may get a really dark scene. Alright and here you go, that's how you set up the sky and environment for your Cinema 4D render. Please make sure you watch my next video on rendering which will be the final video in the series. Uh, we're almost done guys, you've got yourself pretty far, you've got yourself a pretty nice looking world. Now, if you like this video, please make sure you give it a like rating. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you want to see more content like this, then please make sure you hit the subscribe button. This has been Chief from Team WJ, and I will see you next time. And...